Hey guys, my name is US Lightning. Today I'll be doing a commentary over the Sub Sunday for this week, and you guys are going to be watching a triple nuclear with the FAL by a guy named Improvs. He has a really great channel, so go over and check it out. The link will be in the description. You won't be disappointed by any of this stuff over there, especially if you still enjoy Black Ops 2, which a lot of people have actually been doing lately. But what I want to talk about today is what I think the most overpowered gun is, or the best gun in any Call of Duty. Not necessarily overpowered, but what the best gun for pubs is. And I just kind of want to talk about really good guns from each Call of Duty. Most of them are going to indeed be Marksman Rifles or the Burst Rifles. Things that take a little bit of skill, but I do have some that are automatics that I feel like are possibly better than the rest of them. And the first one, of course, is the ACR from MW3. I think a lot of people believe that this gun is the best gun of all time. It's an automatic, it has literally no recoil, and it has really good damage. That's why a lot of people used it back in MW3, and that's why a lot of people still use it. I use it when I want to get a Moab and I'm struggling with every other gun. I personally feel like it's the best gun on MW3 at the very least, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is. I think for people that have a little bit of skill, the MK14 is, because it's a two-shot weapon, and if you get both those shots into that person, you can kill them really fast. And I believe that it's also a one-shot headshot, so you could literally kill people in one bullet in regular core. And I think that's a really broken thing in a gun. I think there are a couple in Ghosts that you can do that with as well, where if you get the headshot, then it kills them. And that just makes guns really good, to where if they're a two-shot to one-shot weapon in core, and you have the skill to be able to use them, then you can become a force to be reckoned with. That's why I think a lot of people... Don't like going against snipers because they're kind of one-shot wonder weapons. And what I mean by that, of course, is that they can kill you in one shot most of the time. However, those are a little bit different because they have the scope and they're a little bit trickier to use than a marksman rifle. I would like to quickly point out that I believe the VKS is a very powerful weapon if you put something like the ACOG scope on it. Just because it one-shots most of the time and it has the built-in silencer. So you can pretty much run around with it like a marksman rifle and one-shot people. So I feel that's a very powerful weapon. However, I don't like the feel of it personally, and I believe a lot of other people don't as well. That's why it's not used that often. And for the people that do snipe, they generally just stick to the USR, maybe the Lynx if they want to use something that's not a bolt action. But that's about the only time that a sniper is a good weapon to just run and gun with and go for gameplays on, unless you are indeed a sniper, in which case it doesn't really matter. But anyway, back to the marksman rifles. I have a couple more points to make on this, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the ACR and the UMP and some of the other assault rifles that I feel are really good weapons, and even the LMGs because there are some really, really good LMGs. But for the marksman rifles, there are a couple that aren't that good, either because of the damage they deal out, even though they shoot fast, or because of how slow they shoot. The SVU in Ghost is one of those guns that shoots really slow but deals high damage. However, it wouldn't be really worth using because there are guns that kill about the same speed and shoot a lot faster. And then you don't have to worry about accuracy quite as much as well. But with the IA-2, this gun shoots a lot faster than most, if not all, the other marksman rifles. However, it generally takes three to four shots to kill. So it's a little bit weaker, and I believe the best assault rifle can kill in two or three bullets as well. So you wouldn't really want to use a marksman rifle in this case, because you could just spray a little bit more. But keep in mind when I'm talking about marksman rifles, I'm talking about any single shot weapon, and of course without the scope. Because I'm talking about the MK14, the FAL, the SMR, all the guns from past games, and including Ghost, of course, that are the one-shot weapons. So I, I do want to point that out just so you guys aren't confused because I was talking about the scopes with the snipers. And that's really what I meant by marksman rifles was something with a red dot sight, something without a scope. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at is that marksman rifles I don't think are the best guns all around. Just because if you get into close quarters combat... You're going to have a really hard time against something like an SMG that can just spray and put out a lot of bullets. And while they don't have much damage from far away, they're really lethal up close. So that's the main thing with marksman rifles. They're really only good long range. So I have to say the best weapon is probably something a little more versatile. Something that you can use for long range and short range. But I want to talk about LMGs before I get into assault rifles. I personally believe that assault rifles are probably the best class because they are very versatile. With LMGs though... These things have really high damage and a big clip, so you don't have to reload quite as much. The only problem with these are the mobility. If you want to even compete with assault rifles for mobility, you have to have all the speed perks on, marathon, agility, stuff that helps you move faster, and that can really just eat up your perks, and you really need the perks for different things. You don't want to be wasting them on speed perks when you could just use an assault rifle and slide a hand to make up for the clip size, 
and you can just use an assault rifle for the damage. So that's the thing with LMGs, they are very powerful. The M27, I've seen one or two shot people before. I don't know if that's just because of the connection or what, but that is a very powerful gun. However, as I previously mentioned, it has very bad mobility, all the LMGs do, so I think that puts them out of running for the best gun in a series. I know I said assault rifles are most likely the best weapon class in the game, but I do want to talk about submachine guns because there have been some very good submachine guns in past Call of Duties. The Ump from MW2 and the MP7 from MW3, both of these guns were really good, really powerful, and had really great mobility. So all around really good weapons, the only problem with these are the range. Once it gets out there quite a bit, they have a really hard time killing. It can take five or six bullets, it feels like. And that can be an issue on maps that have really wide open spots, places that people like to sit with a sniper or an LMG. It's something that can pick you off really fast from far away. And that's the thing with SMGs, great mobility, great damage from short to middle range, but you have to be really careful about those long range areas. So let's talk about assault rifles since I only have a couple more minutes in this commentary. I think assault rifles are the most versatile weapon class in any Call of Duty. This is simply because they're good all around, they're not quite as good up close as an SMG, and they're not quite as good far range as an LMG or sniper or marksman rifle, but they kill from any range well enough, especially when you use a better assault rifle like the ACR or the A94, which in my opinion are the best weapons in the game, the ACR in particular, just because it has the specialist that you can use alongside it. The point I'm trying to make is that assault rifles are pretty much the middle class in Call of Duty, they have decent mobility, they can kill from any range pretty well, and they make up for things that the SMG and the LMGs don't have, well, at the same time not being quite as good at them in respectable areas. Anyway, that's in my opinion the best weapon class, and as I've already mentioned, the ACR is the best weapon in my opinion, so I want to know what you guys think is the best weapon in any Call of Duty. It doesn't have to be an assault rifle, it can be whatever you guys think it is, but I'm really interested to know. That's about all I have for this commentary though, so again, be sure to check out Improv's channel, the link will be in the description, and you can check out mine as well if you enjoyed the commentary. The link is down there as well. Please leave a like to support the Doom Clan, and I'll catch you all in my next commentary here on the Doom Clan channel. Take me down to the Paradise City where we all smoke green and the girls are pretty, even with no makeup. On. No, you don't need that makeup. Take me back to the time and place where the music still rocks and the people weren't fake. People weren't fake. Oh, won't you please let me hold? Come on, come on, come on. Put in the time, cause it's worth it. Back against the wall, playing suey tennis balls, can't murk. We Steve Urkel, we keep working on what matters to the family, TGIF, sir. Kill my hurt, but I'm never dropping the ball. Opposite of Ed Reed, but he's stopping them all. I deliver the goods, I keep dropping them off. Ain't been paid, still never taking the loss. Bob Frost with the travels, my road stay dirty. Even if I whisper, I know you still heard me. Truth resonates, my words are Watergate. Put that shit on tape, Woodward and Bernstein. Burned him with his own words against him. Think before I speak, turgid defenseman. Lurid with your words and it's patently absurd Hand up your ass, your puppeteer's Jim Henson I might be a grouch, but I ain't no slouch Seven foot with a straight back, fuck your couch Rick James spit flames, crazy like Britney I'm trying to keep my lid on, Lucas can't get me around